be performing a cross match agglutination test today. So I have two different samples. I have my donor and then also my recipient. This blood has been centrifuged and I took the serum and I separated it into two different tubes. And then I also have an EDTA from the donor and the recipient that has also been centrifuged. So I'm gonna remove the plasma from each EDTA tube so that the only thing that remains is the packed red blood cells. And I'm gonna remove the plasma from each sample. So now the only thing that remains is the packed red blood cells at the bottom of each sample. Then I'm gonna take two drops from my recipient and put that into a clean test tube that is labeled recipient. One, two. And then I'm gonna repeat the same process for the donor. I'm just gonna take two drops of the donor packed red blood cells and then add it to a clean test tube labeled donor. One, two. And so this is what the two samples look like. So I have two syringes filled with saline, exactly three mils, and I'm gonna add that to both samples. So this is the donor sample, and I'm just gonna add three mils of saline to this sample. So it looks like this, and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the recipient sample. Just add three mils of saline to this one as well. I'm gonna mix both samples gently. So now I'm gonna centrifuge both of these samples for one minute at about 34 RPM. So this is what the samples look like once they have been centrifuged. And what I'm gonna do is decant the supernatant, which is the clear, from the packed red blood cells at the bottom, and I'm just gonna discard the supernatant from both samples. So I'm just gonna repeat that same process of washing each sample two more times. Why wouldn't she do it? So this is the second wash. I'm just gonna decant the supernatant and then take two drops from each and then redo the process all over again. <laughs> so once I have repeated that process three times, I'm going to take 0.02 of each vial and put it in here and I'm gonna mix it with 0.98 of saline. So I'm gonna add 0.98 of saline to each vial. And then I'm gonna take 0.02 of the packed red blood cells, and I'm gonna add that to the final wash. And it should look like that. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the donor sample. Add that 0.2 to this sample as well. And it should look just like that. So this is what the final wash looks like from both the donor and then also the recipient. So I'm gonna perform the major cross match. I'm gonna take two drops of the recipient's serum and two drops of the donor's cell suspension in a new tube labeled major cross match. So this is my recipient's serum and I'm just gonna take two drops of this and put that into the major cross match and then take two drops of the donor cell suspension and then add that to the major cross match one two and then i'm just going to mix this gently and set it aside for the minor cross match i'm going to take two drops of the donor's serum and two drops of the recipient's cell suspension so this is the donor's serum one, two. Change out my pipette tip. Then I'm gonna take the recipient's cell suspension, two drops of that into the minor cross match. One, two. I'm just going to invert this and then set it aside. For my control, I'm gonna take the donor's cell suspension and I'm gonna get two drops of that and I'm just gonna mix it with two drops of the donor's serum. This is my donor control. You. One, two. And I'm just gonna take two drops of the serum and mix that in the donor control. I'm going to change out my pipette tip and then take two drops of the recipient cell suspension and put that in my control. One, two. And then take two drops of the recipient's serum and put that in my control as well. One, two. Okay, so now I have four tubes. I have my minor cross match, then I have my major cross match, 
and I have my donor control and then also my recipient control. I'm gonna let these sit for 30 minutes at room temperature. So all four tubes have been sitting here for 30 minutes and I'm gonna centrifuge all of them for one minute. So this is what the samples look like after they have been centrifuged for one minute. I don't see any hemolysis in the supernatant, but we're gonna look at it under the microscope to see if there's any signs of agglutination in these samples. Okay, so I'm gonna take a slide and one drop of the major cross match and put it on my slide and put a cover slip on top and I'm just gonna look at that underneath the microscope. So on my major cross match there is no signs of agglutination so we're gonna do the minor cross match and do the same thing with one drop and look at it under the microscope. There is no agglutination on my minor and major cross match so that means that these guys are a good pair for blood transfusion. 